Good morning. It is 6.30 and I'm just getting going. Um, started getting them ready at 5.30. Not because I wanted to, but because I just got too cold to sleep anymore. Um, definitely gonna get a new sleeping bag sometime soon because, I don't know, I really do like my Revelation. Um, but I think it, it's time has passed. Um, it's not that I was shivering, but I could definitely feel the cold through my sleeping bag. Um, and I like being warm to sleep. Uh, so I only have nine miles today to Mount Laguna. I already have a hotel room booked, so it should be decently easy. Uh, it's a big climb though, but luckily I'm getting a good start. Time to hit the day. uphill all day today and I'm loving it. Um, I know most people don't like uphill but honestly I like the grind. Like the put your head down and just do it determination that it takes to chug uphill. Love it. I just realized I've done two miles in 40 minutes. Oops. I am not very good at pacing myself and going slow uh, for my feet, especially uphill. I don't know. I put on some jets uphill. I just like going like, I don't know, chugging it. Little engine that could, but I need to slow it down. That's, my feet are not ready for me to be doing three miles an hour right now. Huva huamenta. Ah, I'm sure I butchered it. Uh, one of my goals out here is to learn one new word from a different language from one of the other hikers each day. So today it was good morning and finish. But I need to practice some more because I only passed them and practiced it for like two seconds and I'm sure it's not understandable. Huva huamenta. Okay, I've done three miles now and I'm forcing myself to take a break. Um, not because I really want to or feel that I need to, but because I'm a kind of in a dangerous mood this morning. I'm very much in a like, march onward, hoorah, like blood makes the grass grow, pain is weakness, leaving the body, kind of mood of just like charging uphill. Um, and like my feet hurt a little bit and I'm like, who cares? And that's not smart. So I'm like, okay, I'm forcing myself to sit down a little bit, but really I just want to keep hiking. Anyways, clearly feeling pretty good. Okay, definitely taking it more easy now. Um, I never really got into pain, but my Achilles got insanely tight and to the point that I like couldn't even loosen it. Like I know all the tricks because I've had Achilles tendonitis. And I could not get this Achilles to loosen. Like it was just like taut, like a string of a bone arrow. So only real solution is to walk really slowly. So I am, but it's tough. It's tough when, you know, my mind is ready to go. And honestly, my body also feels ready to go except for these small little parts that just aren't quite ready. I don't know. I just have to like wait until all my body is in tune. Um, but I'm being smart and that's good. I think if I hadn't had Achilles tendonitis before, I would have just trucked right on and I don't know, snapped it. So I'm being smart, but it's definitely chafing me a little bit that I'm walking this slow and there's people ahead of me that I know I am in better shape than and like could hike faster than. I'm definitely competitive, so it's a little hard, but I'm doing it. Okay, I've hiked six miles now. It is nine o'clock and I started at 6.30. So I'm definitely starting to pick up the pace and that was 
with two 15 minute breaks, um, I'm really getting better. I'm getting stronger and fitter. Um, I do have to now watch my Achilles a little bit that it doesn't get too tight, but I found uh, like if I point my toes, it kind of relaxes it a little, so that's helped a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna do my kind of longer break of the day right now, and then I only have like three and a half miles to Mount Laguna, so this rate I'm gonna get there before noon, and there's no rush, so I'm gonna chill here for a while. I really need water. But there's also like a lot of bees by the water. And I'm allergic to bee stings. So I'm a little concerned. Lemonade, lemonade. Gonna drink some lemonade. Oh yeah! Oh, it's a little bit strong. A little bit sweet and tangy. These are my favorite kind of desert lizard. Oh, it's not letting me get very close. There go. Wow, it really blends in on the camera. I can see it on the... on my thing. But I can't find it on the computer's camera screen. Do you see it? Where's Waldo? It's right there, I just can't find it on the screen. Oh, there it is. Good luck. That's so cool. I forget what these are called. Isn't that like a like dragon lizard thing? I don't know. I hey buddy, look over here. I didn't even get really close to it. That's a lot on the screen. Right. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, I won't. I'll leave it alone. So, I figured out two really cool things. Um, number one, at home, I suffer from chronic back pain. Um, my lower back just pretty much always hurts, no matter what I do, no matter what stretches. And I have had zero back pain since being out here, which is awesome. Like, I almost didn't notice because I was feeling good, but I was like, wow, come to think of it, I have had no back pain. It's kind of a miracle. I don't know why, I'm wondering just, I'm sitting way less, or maybe holding the pack is forcing me to have better posture. No idea, but it's great. Second cool thing, I'm usually pretty mountain lion phobic when hiking, like I'm constantly checking my back and stuff, and I haven't done that at all either. I can just hike happy, and I don't look over my shoulder, and I feel confident, and that's cool and somewhat unexpected as well, so I don't know if it's just because we're in the desert, or if things will change, or what's up with that, but I am pleased with both of these things. So things I've learned today. Number one, I can definitely start pushing miles. Um, I can noticeably feel my body getting stronger. I can also start pushing the brakes, like not taking as long of brakes and taking brakes less frequently. However, I cannot yet be pushing speed. So when I went three miles per hour today, it felt great mentally, but I definitely almost really hurt my Achilles. Um, and I think if I hadn't known the warning signs of that, and if I hadn't immediately slowed down, it could have been really bad. And in fact, I still think it's something I need to really pay attention to and be careful for the next two days or so, or more, who knows. But anyway, so it's good. I can do more miles. I'll just take longer to get there because don't think I should be hiking faster than two miles per hour yet. It's just too much stress on my body. But overall, it's really good news. So this last section before Mount Laguna is through the forest, which is really nice. Less than two miles to go. So I have less than half a mile to go to Mount Laguna, and I have to pee so badly. Like, really, really bad. 
but I refuse to go have to put my stuff down, delay arriving, find a spot, all that stuff when I'm so close. But it's like almost emergency levels. So teacher bladder of steel is coming into play. This is what I've been training for. Yes, I'm even more excited about this than a burger, but burger very close second. Resupply and snacks. I'm going to have some ice cream. So they have a borrow book program at Mount Laguna Lodge. Mercedes Lackey is one of my favorite authors and this is one of my favorite series. So I am very happy to read for just a few hours in a book that I've already read before. Um, during my downtime, I'm pretty excited about it. My room is over here. I'm almost there. They told me one person only that I broke the rules. I'm splitting it. First laundry of the trail. I did wash some things in the sink at Lake Marina, but anyway, let's do this. I think I'm definitely going to do my socks last because those are definitely the worst.